some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and uh, welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the 48th precinct in the Bronx as Vampire Dave once again proves that he doesn't care about victims' rights or anything else like that. He just wants to film inside of a police station because it suits him. But he ends up getting kicked out. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. See if they honor the right to be called out. Go check up on our government employees. This is the 48th precinct in the Bronx. Let's see how it goes. For a quick reminder of what happened in New York a few months back, uh, there was a a uh, lawsuit filed by Sean Paul Reyes, Long Island Audit, which ended up with a judge granting a temporary injunction which ordered the uh, NYPD to remove all signs by uh, November 17th uh, until the constitutionality of those signs could be evaluated. And, uh, well, frauditors went on a rampage of getting those signs taken out of police stations and... Uh, well, when the 17th rolled around and the appeals went through with the uh, city, it was found by another judge that the signs were indeed not unconstitutional because the uh, police departments do have the right to do things like protect victims' rights and everything like that because you got to have a place to go for the... Uh, for any crime victims to go to to feel safe enough to talk to the police. So that ended up blowing up in Sean's face. But still, a lot of frauditors, uh, well, just don't buy that BS. Especially our good frauditor friend here, Vampire Dave. Yeah, he's just too damn uneducated to figure this stuff out anyway. But let's carry on, shall we? Well, I suppose I was mistaken about something here because quite obviously he probably knows about this because look at how he's hiding the fact that he is recording. He is his back turned to the police officers, but he is using the uh, reflection right here to get all the content that he could desire out of this until the police officers notice what he's doing. He was very sneaky. Kind of like a Pearl Harbor, okay? That was real sneaky too, huh? We did it. The, the city does it because it's not there. This is my way to go. Hopefully, we'll see. But until then, it's going to be Hey, hey, for auditor, do you even hear what's going on in the background? Obviously, you've got a police officer talking to the average citizen who is apparently a victim of a crime, and yet you're eavesdropping on the conversation here. Which, which goes to show you don't care about victims' rights. You only care about yourself. You don't care about the other people that, well, may need the help of the police officers. Nope, you just want to impose your own will on other people. I mean, that's how what gets you off. You gotta have your way, even if it means stomping other people's rights in the process. But yeah, you don't care about anybody else. Yeah, yeah. 
Sir, can I help you? I'm just waiting my time. Sir, no recording. You have to step outside with your phone. You can't record. You can't record in here, sir. What's well, man? You can't record. I need a CCRB. Can't play phone. That's fine, but you can do that outside. Okay. Oh no! The officer touched his camera. Oh no! The fraudster is gonna go ballistic. The fraudster is gonna file lawsuits. The fraudster is gonna file complaints. The fraudster is gonna go nuclear on everybody around here. Oh no! Yeah, like a fraudster doing that is anything to be scared of. Can you step out? Relax, bro. Put Calm down, hand. bro. You have a point. You touch me on law. Don't touch me. Step, step out. I'm talking to your sergeant. Step out. You're going to give me two seconds. Step the first out. Pop What's that Sir. mean? You are recording us right now. You touch me on law. I can defend myself. You have no reason to touch me. You are recording. We warn you. I'm okay. You know, I will gladly touch you. Relax, bro. Relax. I can move on my own. Both. Relax, bro. Both. I'm talking to your sergeant. Who are you? Get off of me. So stop recording. The fuck? Y'all not humans? Where's your man? Relax. Where's the de-escalation? I was talking to your sergeant talk first. To talk to oh, yeah. You frauditors talk about de-escalation. But uh, you refuse to exercise any uh, de-escalation techniques yourself when it comes right down to it. After antagonizing everybody in the building or anywhere you go for that matter. Which that can be construed as quite possibly one of the lamest things that you frauditors ever do. Demanding other people de-escalate when you are the ones who, well, instigate to begin with. You are so It's a we'll public deal, then I'm in a public deal, I can't outside. conduct business. No. We'll step outside, I'll talk to you out here. That's the rules. That's the rules. It's that's not the rules. rules. It is the rules. You have to step can you outside. Can touch me? I can walk on you my own. All right. Um, Once you stop touching me, reasonably. I want to be able to feel like I can move on that's my own, not that I'm forced to do something. In a building that I pay taxes. Yeah, even if you did pay taxes, uh, your ownership of that building would probably contribute to, let's see, maybe point zero 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 one percent of the contributions that you provide to that building. So you don't exactly have majority ownership in this particular case, and they can get you to leave because, well, Trespassing laws and everything like that, you dumbass. You touching me is not reasonable. It is. You don't pay taxes. Yeah, I don't pay taxes. On, on my money? money? I, I cover section and I show up. Tell these young overseas to relax, bro. No de escalation. The fuck? So you want to talk outside in the freezing cold? We can't, no, we just can't talk right here. We can can talk right in here. I need your cars. Tough guy. You can stop recording. Talk about, I'm going to give you two seconds. Who, who are you, bro? What? Relax. They're doing their job. They're doing I'm, exactly what they're supposed to do. And I'm addressing my government, which yeah, I have a right to they're do. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. I feel offended. They ain't talking to me like I that. I understand that, but they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. They've done, what? They've done nothing wrong. Talk you're to not me like, allowed to record. Talk to me like I'm a child. So, That's no, his job. They're telling you exactly what you're supposed to do, and you're not listening. Okay, there's a certain way. You're just obeying a lawful order. It's that simple. How's it a lawful order? Okay? I understand. Relax. I understand. Don't tell me to relax. Okay. I'm talking to him. I can't talk to three people. Relax. Relax. Don't tell me to Anyways, we took that sign to court. I know, and, and we lost. won. No, we didn't lose. We didn't lose. lose. The law is upheld. What was the initial? That's not a law. It is a, it's it not is a, a law. rule for this command. So there's a law that we can't record in public buildings? What's the law? No, that you cannot record in there because we have uh -huh. private information in there. All right? We discuss people's medical business and everything I'm, I'm like that. I'm pretty sure that right? the private... As per HIPAA law, you're not allowed to be in there and record it, okay? When I have prisoners in there and they discuss their medical issues with me, uh -huh. right, in front of the desk, because that's where I am, okay? So let's go. Step out of commitment. I came for Now it. you're just playing games. Now you're just... Well, I'm just going to stop it right there because he spends the next 30 minutes whining, bitching, crying, and complaining, and not understanding that Sean Paul Reyes failed in that regard because his arguments were quite ridiculously stupid to begin with. But hey, if you don't want to follow current events and uh, try to look into this stuff, I mean, that's not my problem. That's your problem of uh, being a uh, poorly educated moron. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?